Kudweni. My name is J. Bobs Chabalala. I am a theater maker living and working in Johannesburg and I am originally from the Eastern Cape in Port Elizabeth. During lockdown, one of the things that has really kept me active and engaged and ready to take on the challenges of each day has been a thing that is called the Vuga Act Challenge. Now in its second year, a series of actors across the country pick 30 days wherein we just train and look after our diets and look after our bodies, look after our voices. And when the first lockdown was announced, Fanny Swayeso proposed a 21 day challenge to go with the 21 days of lockdown. And people have been training ever since, so much so that SNES platform, which started when the first lockdown went, is now on close to 70 something days and people continue to train daily. I am currently the Standard Bank Young Artist of the Year for 2020 and due to the pandemic, um, I'm not traveling to Makanda uh, to the National Arts Festival, but I am part of virtual of the Virtual NEF Festival. Um, and this is in line with my residency for Updok Shishini, which is happening at the Kipis venue. So we're creating this work at the Market Theatre with the Market Theatre's resident company called Guasha. And they are the ensemble with whom I am doing this, this new work and seeing what it's going to be like to create work for the digital realm that was originally intended for the live space. So that is a challenge that I am deeply immersing myself in and I'm enjoying it a lot. Contrary to my social media antics and my chosen field, uh, I'm not a very out there kind of guy. I'm actually a very contained, reserved person and the majority of the work that I do is as a writer and that really requires a lot of self-isolation and like being in, in private spaces for extended amounts of time. So lockdown and this time has not been like a huge culture shock to me, but as, a, as an observer and as, a, as someone who's keenly curious in, in people's lives, I have missed witnessing people live because one of my chief inspirations is collaboration and people watching. And to have not seen people, to have not have taken the energies from people has been something that I have truly, truly missed. So, so I, I have missed watching an eclectic collection of people converging in different spaces with all their many stories. I, I, I miss that. Ooh. Uh, this is a question that I grapple with every day of my life, professionally, creatively, existentially, logically, emotionally. But I really think art is the great connector of all. I, I think it's really one of the most amazing ways to learn about and to be interested in and to be curious around what people go through, how people live. And one of the best ways to express notions, ideas, and, and to be able to call it a profession really gives me so much, like I'm very humbled to, to be able to say, I work as an artist. And without being, without being, in any way elitist, I think it is crucial to human existence because it shows us who we are and what we can become. I was having a, a discussion with a friend of mine recently and I mentioned jokingly that because of not being able to leave at the beginning of lockdown, I was able to achieve in two weeks things that would have taken me two months. Um, and this is, due to the slowing down of things. When, when there were less meetings to attend, when there were less deadlines to be pressing, there was a lot more clarity and a lot more precision around approaching work. There is, particularly in the metropolitans, the business of busyness. And I have appreciated the reduction in busyness. So many meetings that could have been emails are proving themselves to be exactly that. So many things that could have been a phone call are proving themselves to be exactly that. So even post 
this I'm, I'm thinking about being very sacred about my time and only making engagements that require me to be there so that I don't get caught up in the business of busyness. I think an organization like ACT is absolutely important in a country like ours. Um, the arts sector is one of the most neglected sectors um, and to have institutions that ensure that they are constantly looking out for the benefit of artists, for the development of new projects, for the nurturing of emerging voices, for the honoring of already established and legendary voices, to have that institution that honors our archive, honors our legacy, honors the greats and honors our emerging greats is really such a crucial hub that we have so that in case we ever wonder what our output is, there is a place that we can go that we can look at it. I have had many uh, conversations and plenty encounters with people who have been really feeling down and are unmotivated in this time and for many valid reasons and contexts do indeed vary. However, what I have found works for me and for people who have managed to somehow push on has been finding out the things that inspire you and ignite you and having those things close to you. So you might find that you miss particular members of family and you can't be with them, but finding ways to connect with them is amazing. Projects that you had begun and had put away because of logistics, this is a time to revisit them. Um, persons who are in your life who you draw strength from, this might be a time to set up a regular way of checking in with them. I think more than, now more than ever, the necessity of community is so pronounced and having a good circle of people that are continuously being positive and continuously being generous is the best way to really keep motivated and inspired.